Hey everyone, it's Grace and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a review for the Chris X Everblena Matte Powder Foundation and as well as their blushes. So um, yeah, if you guys want to know my thoughts about the new collection that Chris came out with with Everblena, then please keep on watching. But so before that, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope you guys like this video and let's get on to it. Okay, so I was getting ready today and dumating na rin finally itong Chris um, new powder foundation and their blushes. Never ko na try yung mga, yung um, collection ni Chris with Everbalena because it didn't really appeal to me. I mean, it appealed to me but it's not something that I needed kasi medyo hindi, nag, hindi ko na masyado gusto kasi liquid lipstick. So, ayun, pero... Pero, pero nag-appeal sa akin yung blushes tsaka yung powder foundation. So, I just wanted to like film this. So, nasa gitna ako ng getting ready. Pretending na sa USA, US of A. Nakiki fall season. Tingnan nyo naman ang init-init. Pinagpapawisan ako dito. So, I didn't apply any primer. Ano lang to? Moisturizer and sunscreen. Hindi rin ako nag-conceal. So, I have a few imperfections. Ayan. My dark spots here. Here. May malaking dark spot na yun kasi ang laking pimple dyan. Pag nagda-travel talaga ako, guys, oh my gosh. Grabe yung pimples ko talaga. My skin doesn't like travel. I have the Chris Matte Powder Foundation. Dito tayo magsisimula. They have two shades. I have the shade Lifetime, which is the darker shade. And, um, to be honest, feeling ko ito lang yung natural tsaka oriental nila, di ba? Kasi yun naman talaga yung two shades na Everbalena. So, I think this is 298, 275, 285. Hindi ko na maalala. Kasi, ang tagal, ang tagal ko tong in-order. Siguro din kasi, you know, I ordered it before 11-11, before bigla nagbonggang sale. Pero ito, ito yung itsura niya. I love the compact. It just says Chris. And then, it has a mirror. And then, ito, yung film. And then, here is the shade. And then, may Chris din na nakabakat dyan. And then, next would be the sponge. So, ayun. At dito muna tayo magkisimula. Medyo ma... May amoy siya. Hindi ko alam kung gusto ko yung amoy. It smells very cosmetic-y. Word ba yun? Ito. Medyo manipis ang kanilang sponge. Okay. Powder foundation to. So, hindi na ako nag-concealer. Tingnan natin kung papasa siya. Oh my God, ang dark. <laughs> Wait, hindi ko gusto yung sponge. Parang walang nagta-transfer sa skin. Parang stinain niya lang yung sponge. I'm sorry. This is not working. So, babalik ako sa aking brush. So, nag-debate talaga ako if I will, um, you know, use a concealer. Pero kasi sabi, powder foundation. So, siguro naman, you know, may coverage to kahit paano. Mmm. I don't know. Sige, pagtsagaan. Mm. Right off the bat, I'm not happy with the coverage. Feeling ko may iba pang powders yung Everblena. Kasi usually sa Everblena, okay naman sila sa akin. Especially yung nasa purple na compact. Um, this one, I'm not completely happy with the coverage. Pero, sige. Tsagaan. But coverage, mukha siyang okay sa camera. Maganda yung, actually maganda yung finish ng powder. It's not like powdery. Hindi siya nagkikling sa dry patches. Pero feeling ko talaga parang wala siya na cover Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Pero pag hawa ka man, ang ganda ng powder. Parang ang smooth. Powder foundation, di ba? Mmm, kasi naman. Nakalagay sa likod ng box. Hindi ka kasi nagbabasa. Natural looking cob. Ano lang daw. Hindi <laughs> nagbasa si Mams. Mm. Ano siya? Ano sabi? Ito kasi nagbabasa. Uso kasi magbasa. Pero kasi powder foundation. 
usually when you read powder foundation, you'd rely on it sometimes on, on its own, diba? So, ayun, kasi nga pala, no, perfect ang skin ni Mama Chris. Kaya, ganito yung finish niya. Kita ang kita yung dark spots ko. Sobrang kita. Mm, if I want to remove it and conceal, you know what? Tatanggalin ko yung makeup ko at magko-concealer ako. Hi guys! So, nagbalik na ako. So, nag-concealer lang ako. I used the Sam Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Actually, um, clean name naman nila. It's a, it's a, uh, Chris Matte Powder Foundation is ex Expertly formulated with moisturizers and oil absorbers, which help, hindi pa tinda makabasa, which help the skin beautifully shine free and hydrated for hours. Um, the result, natural looking coverage and finish that's healthy looking at every angle. To be honest, they achieved that. Pero kasi powder foundation. So, well, hindi ako nagbasa, but I expected that usually pag powder foundation, di ba, ano, um, powder. Ganda. The powder feels very, very nice and velvety. Ganun yung feeling niya. So, I think this will be perfect for, I know, talagang very natural look na talaga. So, I have two of the Chris blushes. So, yung hindi ko lang ata kinuha is yung Lasting Love. I have First Love and You Love. Actually, nabuksan ko na to, but I haven't swatched it yet. Pinuksan ko siya kasi baka, you know, basa ganun. I can still return it too. So, I have First Love, which is this one. Which is the lightest shade of the two. Para siyang very, very light peach. Nagulat ako sa liit niya, guys. Very, very small. Although, I don't really like this type of packaging kasi feeling ko mababasag siya. Pero mukhang sturdy naman siya. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Very, very light. Then the other, this one's matte, by the way. Tapos, ito yung New Love. Nung pagtingin ko sa Lazada, sold out na tong New Love. So, ito hindi siya, um, mala, uh, may shimmer siya. Ganyan, ganyan yung itsura niya. It's like a peachy pink. So, ayun. So, uh, to be honest, konti talaga siya compared sa other local blushes. Like, the EB Advanced, um, uh, ano to? Cheek Colors. Ito, 2.2 grams to. Ito is only 2 grams. And, uh, like a 0.2 difference. Ito do 24 months, ito 36 months. Yun, ito do 36. Tapos ito, like ito sa Careline, yung oil control blushers nila. This one is 3.4 grams. Tapos may isa pa, di na ganun ang pusa ko. Love, love. Nishido True Colors Powder Blush. So ito naman, 4 grams. So twice ng laman nung sa, feeling ko nag, sobra nag-yellow na yung itsura ng face ko. So, I think that color is a bit too yellow for me. Lalo medyo fair ako. So, I don't know which color to use. Maybe try natin yung first love, which is the lightest shade. Pero iswatch muna natin siya. This is a matte finish. Oy, very smooth yung powder. In fairness. In fairness sa kanya. So, this one's like a peach. Kita nyo ba? Sobrang light niya, hindi nyo siya makikita. Ayan, para siyang peach. New love. Sobrang pawis na ako, guys. Hindi ko alam ba't ako nag-hoodie eh. Pero, ayan. Ito yung New Love. Parehong very smooth yung powder. Ay, maganda to. Akala mo lang may shimmer siya, pero hindi pala. Ayan. Ayan. Yung itsura niya. This is new uh, First Love. Yung lighter shade. So, ayan. Parang siyang peachy shade. So, titry ko mo na to. Um... Sa akin, walang problem kung konti lang yung laman ng blush kasi hindi mag... bihira naman tayo like mag-hit pan sa blush. Pero, ano, nagpapawis na ako. Pero like, um, kung contour yon I'll be bothered kasi yung contour kasi yung mabilis ako mag-hit pan. Pero, ayun. Actually, maganda siya, guys. It's like a very subtle peach sa cheeks. I did think na it would show up, pero nag-show up siya. Nikita nyo ba? Hina, wait lang. Baka hindi nyo makita. Ayan, kita nyo. Parang walan. Kikita nyo ba? Binabaan ko yung sa light para makita nyo yung um, first love. Kasi actually, it's a very subtle peach. Maganda siya. Kita nyo ba? Sana makita nyo. 
yung pinagmamalaki ko dito. Ang cute! Ang cute ng shade. But, yeah, dada dalagyan ko lang siya ng konting new love. Gusto ko lang makita how new love will look like. Um, kukuha lang ko ng konti. It's like a watermelon pink. Yung new love. So, ayan. May konting shimmer-shimmer siya, guys. It's like a satin. So, konti lang nilagay ko. Mm. Cute siya. So, anong oras na ba, guys? It is 3 o'clock p.m. So, I'll just finish the rest of my makeup. Tapos, pabalikan ko kayo. Hi, guys! So, naka-uwi na ako. So, um, yeah, I literally just stayed inside the mall. Hindi na ako nag-blot. So, ganito yung itsura niya, guys. After a whole day, it is now 10. It is 10.20 ng gabi. I applied my makeup around 3 p.m. Nag-blot ako. Ngayon, ngayon lang. No, I blotted around 8.30, ganon. So, ito yung itsura niya. So, let's start off with the matte powder foundation. So, First and foremost, hindi ako na impress. I do love the texture of the powder and how it feels on the face. It's very, very smooth. Pero for something na ililabel yun ng powder foundation, medyo a bit misleading siya. Kasi usually when I go for powder foundations, yun yung parang nagmamadali ka na hindi mo na kailangan ng concealer underneath it. Or if ever man, hindi ganun ka full coverage, mas na nakocover niya kahit pa paano. So, pang mabilisan yung ganun. Kasi, ito, I would use it as a pressed powder. And kahit anong layer ang gawin mo, hindi talaga nagbe-build up yung coverage niya. So, setting that aside, it is kind of a good powder if you want a natural finish or if you want a setting powder for your foundation or kung gusto niyo gandang pulbos at lip tint lang. Kasi there are cheaper pow um, pressed powders that work exactly the same. Like, yung detail makeover na mineral pressed powders really, really nice. I think Maybelline still has their pressed powders. So, meron Nishido. Nishido ba yun? Yung 100 pesos na pressed powder. And this one is like 200 something. I would pay 200 plus, like 298, ganun 285 if it is a powder foundation. But if it's just a regular pressed powder, yeah, so this one is a bit of a letdown. Hindi ko siya masyado recommend But if you don't have like a ton of imperfections like I do, then this will be a very, very nice natural powder. As in, maganda yung finish ng powder niya, guys. So this one is actually a bit too yellow for my face. As in, hindi na ako nag-bronzer. Pero mukha ako nag-bronzer. Kasi tinan nyo, oh, talaga nag-oxidize siya ng bonga. So ginawa ko, nag-highlight lang ako para medyo glass skin achieved charot. Next would be the blushes. Now, these, ayan, kita, kita nyo pa ba? Ayan, no, potok siya. Actually, nung time na nag, una nag-banyo ako, guys, as in, super potok. As in, kasi sobrang, alam mo yung hindi ganun katindi yung coverage nito. Tapos, super pigmented yung blush. So, talagang lumitaw siya. So, ayun. Um, the blushes are nothing special. Pero hindi naman kasi sila mahal. So, I think I would recommend them. Especially if you want natural shades. Although, again, I think the shades don't really cater to all skin tones. Lalo to first love. Tong first love na to, even though it looks kind of pale. Ayan, mukha talaga siyang pale. Pero pag blend it's a very, very nice kind of peachy orange shade na I think would really be nice during summer or if you just want a pop of color. Super pretty siya. I would, I should have left it alone actually kanina. Ang ganda niya na. Very, very subtle. So, feeling ko to, gusto ko to sa mga barely there blush looks. So, ito yon. Yung new love, which is ito, you, kailangan nyo lang konti lang dito kasi very, very pigmented siya. So, ayun, ito yung new love, which is the one I topped on top of new love, uh, of uh, first love. So, I really like the texture of these. Very velvety yung blushes nila. And it stayed on. As in, nandiyan pa rin naman siya. It stayed on. Pero for me, it's not the most long-lasting one. Kasi meron ako mga blushes na after a few hours, talagang matingkad pa rin. Ito, it's still here. Pero medyo mas nag, ano na siya, mas nag, um, nag-fade na siya ng konti. So, ayun. It's nothing special. 
do I recommend it? Yes and no. Yes, in a way, because I did enjoy using them. I love the texture, and you need the tiniest amount. As in, hindi nyo mabilis maubos to, kahit 2 grams lang to. Hindi nyo siya mabilis maubos kasi you need the tiniest amount, especially with the shade New Love. Pati din tong First Love, akala nyo pale-pale lang yan, pero pag nilagay nyo sa cheeks nyo, maganda siya. As in, konti lang kailangan nyo. So, I think that's good. I like it as well because they're tiny, because they're perfect for traveling. But I don't recommend them because madame na mga blush selection, like in local brands na maybe there's more shades to cater to. So, so there's nothing that I really fell in love with. Na oh my god, wow! But at the same time, I did enjoy using them, like the blushes, yung powder, so so. So it's like a product na. Okay naman siya. I'm gonna continue using it, but it's not something I'm completely wowed by. So, ayan! So, hope you guys like my review for the Chris Powder Matte, Powder Matte Foundation and the Blushes by Ever Bolena. And, um, yeah, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the notification bell down, down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!